Hello again, this is Al, K0CN, and I'm in my shack with a new piece of equipment, the RF Kit 2K Plus Linear Amplifier. I've completed the construction and the calibration process, and I'm now looking at rig control using the CAT format. I've purchased a cable, an FTDI cable, which has a USB-A connector on both ends, and I plan on plugging it into my exciter, which in my case will be the Flex Radio 6700 and the RF kit on the other end. We'll take a look at the setup menus on both the Flex Radio and the RF kit and see how it works. All right, let's look at the setup on the Flex Radio for the CAT cable first. We go to the Settings tab on the upper left-hand side of the screen and we'll choose USB cables. Because I have the FTDI cable plugged into the back of the Flex Radio, you'll see it automatically detected. I'll click on that cable and go to the Edit button. Here we see we can enter a name. I've named it RF Kit FTDI. There is a serial number here which should match the serial number in the first drop-down box. Then we have cable type. It'll be a CAT cable. And the source, I've selected TX Slice since the linear is most interested in the slice that I'm going to be transmitting with. Then we have uh, the auto report enabled. Here we'll press the advance button. And we see here we have speed, the data bits, parity is none, and stop bit is one. We've set the uh, baud rate to 38,400, and these are the settings I've been using. We're done with the flex radio, and now let's go over to the RF kit and look at the menu there. All right, here we are with the RF kit control screen. Now let's go down to the menu button, and in the menu here, we'll select the rig control tab, and instead of hardware control universal, we want to go to CAT control. Under CAT control, we'll notice there are four drop-down boxes with various options. First, manufacturer. Second, the type of rig for that manufacturer. The port, and then the baud rate. The flex radio uses the same CAT commands as the Kenwood. Therefore, I've set the manufacturer as Kenwood, chosen the TS-480 for my rig, the port is the FTDI USB null modem, and the baud rate was set the same as the Flex Radio at 38400. Now with all the settings made, we'll close the window. Now as we look at the control window, you'll see in the upper right hand corner the word CAT appears, indicating that the amplifier is now under CAT control from your exciter, in this case the Flex. In the screen here, I've set the RF kit control panel on the left side and the flex radio interface on the right side. We'll be most interested in the frequency display on the RF kit, which is the upper right-hand corner of that window, and the upper central part of the flex window, which has the, the flag and the frequency readout. So here we are, first of all, note um, that the cat Indicator is um, showing on the RF kit control window. Next to that is the frequency and band. So let's go up here to the flex and make a change. I'll go to the band and change up to 40. And right away you see the um, frequency in the flex radio change to 40 meters and the same frequency showing up here on the RF kit control window under cat control pretty quick. I'll go back to band once again. Let's go up to uh, 15 meters. And here we see 21.3, uh, 21.3 is shown on the kit. It changes and follows around just uh, fine. If we go over to 20 meters, 14.237, uh, 14.237 on the RF kit as well. If I move the flag around, uh, notice that the frequency on the RF kit display tracks along with the VFO or the slice as I move it around on the screen for the 
Flex Radio. Now let's take a peek at one more thing here under settings and under USB cables that are plugged into the Flex Radio. I'll select the one that we have and go down here to the log button. Press that and a log window will open up. That needs to be enabled in order to see the data that we're seeing here, but it's logging the broadcasts made from the Flex Radio and it's going to be received by the RF kit. So let me disable so we'll stop that change. So right now in the flex we see the frequency is 14.246.640 and over here we see the 14.246.640 so it's actually transmitting the FA um, is the cat command and the frequency is being transmitted for the RF kit to decipher. Um, all right, so I'm going to enable it again and let me change frequencies and I'll go to the band button and let's go back down to 80 meters and notice that the change in frequency occurs on the display of the RF kit and also we're reading FA um, 3925000, the display has been transmitted. So a nice diagnostic tool if you're having a problem to see if the information is being displayed and uh, sent to your, to your amplifier. I'll close that window. Well, that's about it for this video. With one final comment, I did purchase my FTDI USB cable from Amazon. It is available from other retailers out there, but that's where I picked mine up. So with that, we'll just uh, close this video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll say 73s and good luck from Al K0CN.